Morihei Ueshiba, the founder of Aikido, was born in 1883 in Tanabe, Wakayama Prefecture. As a child, he was weak and often got sick. At a young age, he witnessed it his father, Yoroku, being attacked. It was this incident that awakened the need in him to be strong. He soon started to practice martial arts and sumo and quickly became strong. In his youth, he studied and mastered many martial arts such as Tenjin Shinyoryu Jujitsu, Kitoryu Jujitsu, Yagyu Shinganryu Jujitsu, and Kashima Shintoryu Kenjitsu. It happened in 1915 in Hokkaido that Morihei would meet a famous martial art teacher, Sokaku Takeda of Daitoryu Aiki Jujitsu. Morihei became a devoted student of Sokaku, invited him to his house in Shirataki, and received personal instruction intensely in the art. This study of Daitoryu Aiki Jujitsu. Would provide the technical foundation for Aikido. Morihei received Kyoju Dairi, a teacher certification from Sokaku, and became certified as a teacher of Daitoryu Aiki Jiu Jitsu in 1922. Another important event in Morihei's path to Aikido would be his encounter with Onisaburo Deguchi. The spiritual leader of the Omotokyo religion. After this meeting, Morihei moved to Ayabe and became a fervent follower of Onisaburo, whose spiritual and humanistic teaching had a great influence on him and therefore on Aikido, which would later emerge. Onisaburo encouraged Morihei to begin teaching martial arts for the Omoto believers. Morihei opened his own dojo called Ueshiba Juku in 1920, and there he taught Daitoryu Aiki Jiu Jitsu. His fame as a martial artist gradually spread, and Morihei was eventually invited to Tokyo to give demonstrations and seminars to Japan's military and political elite. In 1927, Morihei moved to Tokyo permanently. To teach his art. With the help of many prominent people, including Admiral Isamu Takeshita, Morihei built a dedicated Aikido dojo called Kobukan in 1931, located in present day Wakamatsucho, Shinjuku. This dojo was the predecessor of the current Aikido Honbu dojo. The training in the Kobukan dojo was very hard. That the dojo was also known as the Hell Dojo of Ushikome. It was during this period that Jigoro Kano, the founder of Judo, visited Morihei to see Morihei demonstrate his martial arts. Kano was highly impressed by Morihei's martial skill and even sent two of his top students to learn from Morihei. In this period, Morihei's art was called several names such as Aiki Jujitsu, Ueshibaryu Jujitsu, or Aiki Budo. Aikido became the official name of the art 
in 1942, when it was recognized as a modern martial art by the Daini Pom Budokkai, a government-sponsored organization for the Japanese martial arts. In 1942, to escape from the chaos of the Second World War, Moriei moved to Iwama, a small town located about 100 km to the northeast of Tokyo, in Ibaraki Prefecture. He acquired around 7 hectares of farmland and there created an Aiki farm and lived a life of Buno Ichinyo, Union of Agriculture and Budo. In 1943, he built the first part of the current Aiki shrine. Together with 42 gods, this shrine is dedicated to Amena Murakumo Kakisamuhara Ryuo, the god of Aikido. This deity is the guardian god of the Ueshiba family and represents the true mission of Aikido. As Morihei explained, Aikido is the bridge between heaven and earth and the tool to be used to drive out evil from the world and to achieve harmony among peoples. Morihei also built a dojo, which was completed in 1945 and was originally called the Aiki Shuren Dojo. Morihei called this place Aikido no Ubuya, the birthplace of Aikido. Here he engaged himself in strict training and reached the highest level of Aikido, known as Takemusu Aiki, when someone is capable of executing spontaneous techniques according to the nature and circumstances of the attack. The field of Iwama was also a suitable place for outdoor weapon practice. The basic of Aiki Ken and Aikijo, the sword and stick of Aikido, were created during this time. Morihei's usual training partner was Morihiro Saito, who later organized these techniques into a comprehensive system. In 1962, a second, bigger shrine was built in front of the old one. It is this place where Shinto ceremonies are held every month on the 14th and also where the annual shrine festival is held every year on April 29th. After the death of the founder in 1969, Morihiro Saito became the chief instructor of the Iwama Dojo and caretaker of the Aiki Shrine. After Saito's death in 2002, the Iwama Dojo and the Aiki Shrine were returned to the Ueshiba family. Now, classes are taught here on Saturday by the current head of Aikido, Doshu Moriteru Ueshiba, and on Wednesday by his son, Dojocho Mitsuteru Ueshiba. We can't speak about Aikido without emphasizing the enormous contribution of second Doshu Kishomaru Ueshiba. During the war, while Morihei devoted himself to training, meditation and farming in Iwama, the 21-year-old Kishomaru stayed in Tokyo as the head of the Kobukan Dojo and took all responsibilities for it. With great effort, he saved the dojo during the bombing of Tokyo. After the end of the war, the Japanese nation faced an emotionally difficult period. Kishomaru insightfully understood that Aikido had much to offer Japan and the world through its technical curriculum and spiritual essence of achieving harmony between people by serving as a bridge to bring people and nations together. In 1948, the Aikikai Foundation was established and officially approved by the Ministry of Education as a non-profit organization for the development and popularization of Aikido throughout the world. While in the pre-war era, 
Aikido was only available to a small group of Japan's military and political elite, Kishomaru opened the door of the Hombu Dojo to anyone who wanted to study Aikido. In order to popularize the art, he organized public demonstrations and encouraged the opening of branch dojos and university Aikido clubs all over Japan. Kishomaru also took effort to disseminate the art to abroad. In the 1950s, Aikido was first introduced to Europe and later to the United States by Koichi Tohei. Tohei went to Hawaii first in 1953 and subsequently on many occasions and established a large network of dojos on the islands. His visit in 1961 was especially memorable as Tohei accompanied the founder, Morihei Ueshiba, on his first and only trip to Hawaii. It was during this visit that the founder said the following famous words. I have come to Hawaii in order to build a silver bridge. Until now, I have remained in Japan, building a golden bridge to unite Japan. But henceforward, I wish to build a bridge to bring the different countries of the world together through the harmony and love contained in Aikido. I think that Aiki, offspring of the martial arts, can unite the people of the world in harmony, enveloping the world in unchanging love. Aikido, the spiritual martial art of Japan, is a means for self-development and the means to attain world peace. Over the last six years, Aikido has spread to around 130 countries all over the world and has practitioners of all ages and genders. Aikido does not support competitions. Rather, it encourages practitioners by repeating the techniques, cultivating the ability to control violence in a peaceful manner. This capability can be useful not only in a self-defense situation, but also in any aspects of the daily life. This is the true essence of Aikido. Ready?